Hello, you are in. Welcome to Jens Dakar and Motivation video. In this video, I'm addressing a very important topic which we students need right now. And this video must go specifically to first years. So it's a video about simplicity. I know there are a lot of things that you need to study at this time and pressure is mounting up. But all you need is a simple strategy to overcome a multitude of complex studies. So this video, I'm going to use what seven of the ten rules of simplicity which were presented by Edward de Bono. So, I will start from the third rule of simplicity. So, rule number three of simplicity states, you need to understand the matter very well. You are a student and you are preparing for exams. Okay? So, you need to understand the course that you are going to write and also you need to understand the topics in that course the scope of the two courses that are going to come in the exam so you need to go through them thoroughly as a student go through them word for word and that is going to help you to simplify things if you want to simplify something that is complex the first thing you need to know is that you need to know its makeup so you need to know the makeup of the things you are going to write in the test you need to know each of the uh, the topics you are going to answer in the test word for word know know them go through them and make sure that you revise them then you'll be able to make a very simple strategy to overcome something that is big so the second rule of simplicity that i'm going to use of course in this book is the fourth rule which means you need to design alternatives and possibility so now here the emphasis is on design we all know that we have got alternatives when this strategy doesn't work we need to do sum up another strategy but most of them we fail to design on how that strategy we have made is going to work so we need to sit ourselves down and then see the way forward for the strategy we're going to make which means we need to design the way forward for our strategy how we are going to execute it at what time and what will be the expected results of the execution of that strategy the simple strategy you have made so the third rule which is in this book is the fifth rule is you need to challenge and discard existing elements which means you are at the point whereby you need to able to know the concepts in the book and challenge them which means you need to go further and research go back to your notes go back to tutorial videos go back to textbooks and research and remove anything that is unnecessary to make something simple okay so the 63 which is in this book it says you need to be prepared to start all over again so most of us we know we don't like going over things we don't want to go back we have got that pride it's in him it's human nature to have a pride not to go back to your past things but at this situation the way it is if you do not know a concept even if no matter how simple a topic is go back to read and read it thoroughly go back start all over again go back to atomic structure where you started from go back to the basics then you'll be able to know how that complex system is made up of you'll be able to really know the elements that make up a complex system rule number seven you need to use concepts so now the concepts that you need to use i shared to you the last time were the session on just academy motivation at the beginning of this semester on how to handle situation so the concept is that first you need to do a diagnosis of the situation at hand a diagnosis of a situation at hand is that you look at what situ what situation are you are you in at the moment you are in a situation where one you are under pressure two maybe time is not enough for you so you look at also the time to eat so you diagnose your situation after you have diagnosed your situation what do you do you find a way forward okay how can i make this thing so simple so that's the first thing that you you need to use concepts 
points, okay? So, number eight, which is you may read to break things down in smaller units, which means you need to break things down in smaller units. Even when you have been asked a simple question in, ma in mathematics, there is a question which is never misses every year, no matter what you're doing, you may be doing a degree, you may be doing a grade 12, whatever you are doing, they always ask a question, simplify, which means something that is complex, make it simple. So this is what you need. Break something that is complex, that topic that is hard for you, break it into something that is simple. Okay, I'm going to know about A, B, C, D. I have to, by the time I finish this two hour session, I need to know this concept, that concept, and that will be your focus. Be focused like a laser beam. Okay, don't move around a lot on trying to figure out, read all sorts of articles, all sorts of books. Focus on one thing and look at it very well. Read a topic at a time. Spend about four hours reading one topic, researching it, reading tutorial videos, going through textbooks. You have complex understanding. And then from that you have, you're going to make up a very simple strategy which is going to work for you. So, number nine is you need to be prepared to trade off other values for simplicity. Truth be told, you need to sacrifice. If you want to fly, leave anything that weighs you down. What you need to do at this point is that you need to put your priorities in place. The law of priority, first things first. You are preparing for an exam, so studies first. Simplify it first. So let us use the law of priority. First things must come first. Okay, the tenth rule, which is the last rule we are going to look at, is you need to know for whose sake the simplicity is being designed. This simplicity, you are the designer and it's being designed for you. It is going to help you. It's not going to help anybody else. It is going to help you. It is this strategy that is going to make you go in second year. It is this strategy that is going to determine if you're going to get a B plus, an A, or an A plus. It's this simplicity that you're going to make. So this whole simplicity is designed for you. You are the designer of it. You are the one who is making it. So you really have to know why you are making it. So the only way you can make it so thorough for you is when you know the situation you are facing in, the situation at hand. So this use this as a motivation for you and also as a study guide as you prepare for your exams. And Jesset Academy wishes you the very best. And please uh, subscribe for our tuitions under Genset Academy. It's only at 100 kwacha per course per month. That's a group one. And also 300 kwacha for one-on-one -on -one and 40 kwacha for consultation. And Genset Academy is growing and we want you to be part of it. Thank you very much and God bless you.